What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, everyone inside and outside the ballpark? Welcome to episode 11 of the Novid Notes podcast, where we hold VR chat creators, content creators, and many more types of creators here on the platform. I'm your host, Novid Player, and with me today, I actually have the world maintainer for Uganda, Lego Man. Lego, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Hey, yo, what's up? Yo, I was say, um, yeah, so. You know, for those that don't know what Uganda is, you know, kind of give a brief description to the audience of what exactly do you do on this VRChat platform? Um, so what I do is I maintain the Uganda world on VRChat, as well as the avatars in the world, which were originally created by Fred Soliton back in December of 2017. Fair enough, fair enough. So, yeah, so with you being the maintainer of Uganda... You know, you've you've been around the platform for a long time. Uh, so what exactly started your VR chat journey? Like what made you come to VR chat? Well, I good thing you asked to know, but um back in uh like twenty seventeen before VR chat, um I was running a Minecraft server. It was semi successful. I wouldn't say it was a hundred percent successful, let's put it that way, but um I had someone that, like in December like, yo, you should check out VR Chat. It seems like a pretty cool game. And I basically went on VR Chat, like on a different account at the time, because I kind of wanted to see what's going on. And then basically, um, I came back when the Uganda Knuckles thing started popping off, like later December. And I'm like, you know what? I should probably check this out again. Fair enough, fair enough. I was, I was gonna say, yeah, you know, Uganda Knuckles have been around since, you know, late 2017. You know, that in fact makes it, you know, seven years since, uh, almost eight years since, you know, Uganda Knuckles started popping off. So, for, I guess, for those that don't know exactly what Uganda Knuckles are, uh, kind of explain i mean i mean you are one but just for the general listening audience like kind of explain like what is a uganda knuckles all right so the uganda knuckles meme basically you know took over a previous meme that was called knuckles sings at the time so basically you would wear the same model not like this that i'm wearing right now but the other models and you would kind of just you know play music Probably the biggest song is Suicide is Painless. That is one song that was played the most. They popped it off. And then, basically, um, in December... <clears throat> oh, my throat's a little scratchy. <laughs> you good? But, um... Like, Gaston's and a few other buddies, um... They've basically, you know... Watched, uh... You know, Who Killed Captain Alex, which is a Wakali Wood film. Which, by the way, if you don't know, Wakali Wood is located in Kampala, Uganda. So, basically, they got on VR chat and they found this model. Said, so, you know what? Just <laughs> swipe an old meme like Knuckle Sings, because, and be like, do you know the way? <laughs> Just going up asking people for the way. Fair and enough. That, there was reference to other uh, African films, but um, I'm not. Sh I don't remember exactly which ones they were. Fair. But the Who Killed Captain Alex one was primarily used. Yeah, I was gonna say, you know, with a there, there are so many memeable moments from that film. Um, so what? Uh, so with the Uganda Knuckles and the whole meme itself. You know, there's a lot of aspects to the meme. Um, of course, the biggest one, of course, uh, do you know the way? Um, <clears throat> which, funny enough, we... action is coming. <laughs> <laughs> so we did uh, talk about that on episode eight, episode eight with Metaverse DGen. Sorry, I'm getting my numbers confused. Um, so I don't know if you would watch that episode. Um, we made a joke about trying to ship Raptor uh, from Metaverse DGen. Uh, over to Uganda as a military supply package with him in a <laughs> with literally him in in an inflata suit type of uh, Uganda knuckles. Um, and we made a we made a whole bit. And we'll we'll throw it up on screen here. But yeah, so one of the things like everybody like and their mother that plays VR chat knows of at least the Uganda knuckles. 
so with the meme, right, like I was stating earlier, there are many parts. The main one being, do you know the way? So do you know what happened when it came to the whole, uh, like, find the queen aspect of, of the meme? So in Uganda, basically, the queen was basically the, the status of the one that knows the true way. Because the, the knuckles are like asking for the way, but every time they ask it to normal people, they don't give them the true way. So it kind of, you know, <laughs> makes it hard to find their true way. Mm -hmm. But I will say, even even to this day, we still have not found the way. We're still searching. So it's funny that you mentioned that because, um, and I wanted your opinion on this. Uh, I know we've talked about this in DMs. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and post it right here. Um, you know, it does show that there was a graffiti of a Uganda Knuckles uh, that made its way back to Uganda. Um, what What is your, what is your, <laughs> what is your opinion on that? I fucking loved it. <laughs> <laughs> I was to say, you know, because he, he's holding the flag and everything. It's 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 really wholesome. Um, now, I guess the bigger question is, right? Is you know, is he gonna come back and show the brothers and sisters the way? That's the real question that I want to know the answer to. <laughs> um, yes, he will show them the way. <laughs> <laughs> also, I do. I forgot what the school's name was again, but I knew it was like an elementary school. But yes, they will still show people. The way. It's, paint, it's painted as a mural, which I mean, I could respect that. Actually, fair enough. Yeah, I was gonna say with uh, you know, the the meme culture of Uganda Knuckles lives on uh through VR chat. You know, it granted, you know, it it does work its way into the mainstream media. You know, um, it did for Roblox at one point. <laughs> it it did. Roblox uh, moderation said no. <laughs> yeah, I do remember there was a whole, um, like, whole controversy in regards to Roblox banning Uganda Knuckles. I do, I do remember that. That was a, a very it interesting. Wasn't time. just that as well. <laughs> so at the art around that time, it was like January. Like mid January, I'll just put it that way because I don't remember exact date it was in 2018. But there was a news article released basically saying is Uganda Knuckles racist, and like any brand that used it, a lot of people would like call them out for using it. Yeah. And also, I know that the same day a few brothers got banned, sadly. Ah. Uh. It was supposed to have been like a month, but it went to like a week. But, yo, that and that's but yeah, it's unfortunate that that was the circumstance. I would say, especially since, like, uh, realistically, for for those that are you know skeptical on it, it's it's just a funny little meme. There's no ill intent behind it. Now, I will say there might be stupid people who take it with ill intent, as per literally anything in the world. But realistically, when it comes to the Uganda meme, it's not, you know, it's just harmless fun, you know, realistically. Um, but, you know, speaking, you know, of like fun, the fun side, you know, let's talk a little bit more about uh, the the original like events, you know. So for, for those that are listening, what are some examples of like some of the events that happened when you guys first started? Um, we would go around multiple worlds, basically just asking for the way. And, you know, it started off with that, and then, like you said about Harmless Meme, like, it also did bring in a lot of bad actors as well, and that's issue with later raids is that bad actors started showing up. Mm -hmm. Which, I mean, it happens, like, with any meme that comes up. The bad actors show up, and, you know, basically ruin it for everybody else. Yeah, I, I was gonna say, you know, and that it goes with anything like like you said it best it goes with any meme with any group with any community you know you get a few bad apples in there and it just you know soils it for a lot of people um which is unfortunate but it is how it is sometimes um so you know you you went to a bunch of you know you do your raid events 
um, or you did back in the day. So I guess I'll ask, what was like one of the most biggest events that you guys had uh, when it comes to the Uganda community? Um, the biggest one was the uh, marriage of the queen, which is in the James Key video, by the way. If uh, nobody's ever seen it, we'll where Gaston Stones was being married to a queen, and basically what happened was like the queen crashed, of course, I guess because the queen's PC did not go the way. I guess you could say. <laughs> but, yeah. Like, ever since then, like, I think that was probably the biggest event yeah. that's ever happened. That was, like, peak. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. So, you know, we we went into some of the older stuff. You know, let's talk a little bit more about, like, your involvement uh, with Uganda Knuckles. So, you know, you, you said you started with, like, a Minecraft server um and you were kind of introduced to vr chat so what drove you specifically to uganda knuckles well at the time uh, speaking of the minecraft server it kind of slowed down and uh, i was kind of not willing to like you know keep it running much longer and then like this was like back in like 2018 and then Basically, summer of 2018, I released a map called Toxic Uganda, which kind of did its own little spin on the Uganda world. And then, basically, um, in 2019, um, this is around where I become maintainer. Like, during the summer of 2019, like, VRChad went from 5.6.3 patch 1 to, like, 2017.6. I actually forgot which one it was, but it was a 2017 build, which was a big leap. Mm -hmm. Which, um, the Uganda map was kind of broken beyond repair. <laughs> the lighting was really broken, all the shadows were kind of broken. <laughs> like, one end had light and the other end was kind of just dark. <laughs> so, basically, I messaged Fred Soliton if if I could maintain the map for him since he was, you know, busy IRL with what he does. And I'm like, you know what? I, he said it, he gave me the green light and basically I took the map, like every single like trigger was broken in it. So I had to do all that from scratch. And because the old, the Fred Sultan map was still up at the time, I did reference where everything was. So like there was a working copy. So, I basically went, I think I spent like, like roughly 12 to 14 hours fixing a lot of stuff because the project was kind of broken beyond repair. Fair enough. Yeah, no, and I mean, that world is no easy feat to say the least, you know, especially back then when it was a lot more I difficult. got it working though. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so, you know, it, it definitely took a lot of work you know, to get all that stuff done, you know, what essentially inspired you to, you know, want to work on the Uganda world? Well, I wanted to maintain a piece of beer chat history, whether that be good or bad. Because <laughs> everybody has different opinions on how that went back then. Fair, fair. Um, so with how much, you know, the vr chat platform has changed um you know has it became increasingly easier to make updates to the world or has it been increasingly harder um it was i will say that it was increasingly harder until i switched to sdk3 to like you know bring it more up to speed to modern day technology because, I mean, you had access to Udon, Udon Sharp, which actually Udon Sharp is what made it a lot easier to maintain. Because a lot of the code base doesn't really update that much. This was like, back in like 2020, or sometime like mid-2020, when I actually converted it. Because, you know, COVID lockdown, nothing to do. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, I would say that, that was definitely a time where VR chat, at least in my opinion, became the most successful it was in 2020. Everyone was inside their house. COVID happened. You know, everyone had a VR headset or had a computer to play on. 
you know um and same goes with like the nintendo switch you know it those kind of worked if you didn't have a switch you had a pc if you didn't have a pc or vr you had a switch you know either or um, and if you either then life was gonna suck <laughs> true um but yeah so <laughs> but uh so yeah with uh you know with that you know has there been any um major changes from the original map to what the modern day map is um i added post processing <laughs> probably the biggest one fair so i kind of they kind of, you know, like, because people like to shoot off animations in the map, and now things with, like, intensity on it would actually, you know, stick out more now, or as it did before. Hmm. Fair enough. Now, I was going to say, you know, as, you know, you've been doing events for a while, um, was there any challenge for you specifically um, kind of maintaining it as a whole? Like, after it kind of, you know, slowed down a little bit? Um, mostly just work in real life. Kind of, you know, made it a lot harder to do events. And now, definitely days, like, since I'm working two jobs now, that's even harder to, like, maintain events. Fair. Yeah, no, and that, it feels like a lot of creators are also dealing with that same dilemma. Um, which is very unfortunate realistically because you know there there are some amazing creators out there you know which is why i i personally wish like if there was some feasible way right like anybody who makes creations inside of vr i wish there was a proper like way to support them um which i guess you do have like now you do have the vr chat economy you know, of course, there's like Patreon and other co-fi economy, and also in our Discord as well. We do have like the Discord thing as well, like that only happens in Discord, right? Of course, um, you know, and with with that, you know, a lot of it has changed, you know, since back in 2017, 2018. You know, what was uh, I guess what was like the biggest when it came besides like obviously the IRL stuff, you know. Was there any issues on the actual VR chat platform when it came to like running events? Or did you notice anything different? Um I mean a lot of things have changed over time, so like things we used to be able to do, we couldn't really do much anymore because it would start off normal and then, you know, bad actors start showing up. It gets a little crazy. Fair. Um, you know, with that, like, what, you know, what is the proper way? Because in example, let's say you took an event and you have some bad actors, you know, what, because it, it was a lot different time back then in 2017 to it is now. So what was some of the, the struggles you may have had back then compared to now? Shit. So I would say a lot of the struggles was like before groups were a thing. Like I could kick them out of the world, but the problem was is I was the only one that could kick them out of the world. Um, because we didn't have like the group instances yet. Fair enough. Yeah, I was gonna say you know, ooh, excuse me, with all that you know the new group stuff within you know 2023. You know, it definitely is a lot easier to maintain, you know, at least events like that. So that way, if, you know, you're not around and some bad actor is, you know, doing some stupid stuff, you know, then you have an actual moderation team. Um, so overall, you know, would you say that as a platform, would you say that VR chat has improved at least in that aspect? I would say it has improved a lot. There's some things that could be changed, but so far it's been pretty helpful like removing people from events. So, because you know, like the kick system, like where uh, if you kick them out of the world, they'll be back in like an hour. Mm -hmm. Whereas um, with groups now, that's probably the best addition is you could ban them from the group and they could never rejoin ever again. 
So that makes keeping them out a lot easier. Right. Or at least with the groups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's definitely, you know, one of the brighter things when it comes to this. Um, so, I guess just to kind of divvy back into um, the real life aspect of, like, you gun and knuckles on, like, social media and pop culture. Um, so, obviously, there have been a... A uh, few videos done by uh, some content creators, uh, obviously James Key being one of them. Uh, and, you know, uh, there's definitely more out there, uh, but just to name him as one of them, you know, what what was the thought process, you know, when you see these videos pop up? Like, was there any, like, was there any thought to it? Like, when you saw these videos pop up? Um... I just see it as you got my knuckles trying to find the way. Of, now, if they're just being like, you know, malicious, like, like actual malice happening, then I would see it a different way, but most of the time it's just people asking for the way. Fair enough. You know, people just coming on here having fun. Yeah, of And course. there are some that, you know, I, I don't know the best way to say it. Fair. I can't think of the word for like no fun allowed kind of yeah yeah no it makes sense so you're uh you're we're talking about you know james key and other youtubers you know and the thought process when it came to like seeing those videos um you know what are you know what are some other creators that you know of that have like done the whole uganda knuckles thing there's a lot of them that I cannot name because I forgot. Because it's been that long. Fair but I mean, most of it goes the same way. It's just like, instead of like a group, there might just be one in a lobby and then they just ask for the way and people just, you know, lead them to the wrong portal or something like that. <laughs> yeah, the, those are called the Lost Brothers. <laughs> They get they get lost in the portals. <laughs> Sorry, stupid, stupid Lost Boys reference. Um, but no, anyway. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you know, with with all the creators that have you know used you gun and knuckles, you know, there is at least a you know semi impact when it comes to the pop culture of you know at least the Western you know like the United States side of things, um, you know, with news you know newscasters you know talking about uganda knuckles um from you know there's certain uh media productions that have included uganda knuckles in some way shape or form um which actually speaking of which while your hand is doing a little jig um <laughs> so, so at least i'm still alive <laughs> yeah right, right um so curious enough you know what uh what was your opinion when they kind of referenced, uh, you know, VR with the Knuckles series from Paramount Plus? Oh boy, <laughs> there was a few references. Yeah, I was gonna say from from the uh, wannabe meta or the Meta Quest Three slash Valve Index hybrid head like headset that Knuckles was wearing to the at the very. Um, I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put a spoiler alert right here. Um, if you have not seen the Knuckle series, uh, I'm gonna have you skip to um, this timestamp right here. Uh, so make sure like this just for this next bit. You know, if you haven't seen it, just go to that timestamp and uh, just skip past this. So with with that, you know, it did mention, uh, you know knuckles helped him find the way you know what what was your what was your thought process when that was uh released i think paramount knew what they were doing <laughs> for sure yeah I, putting I, a couple of references in there i was gonna say you know if if for some whatever reason you know uh paramount plus or i guess paramount in general reached out to uganda for whatever reason 
uh, to maybe like use the likeness, you know, what, what would be, this is kind of a, the, like a theoretical question, but what would be your reaction to that? Um, Fred's going to want his royalties. <laughs> 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 i'd say fair yeah no but like you know it'd be really cool to see you know a vr chat meme you know make a big stage like on paramount um you know because if there was only the the headset you know people you know your vr chat player would be like oh you know it might be you got a knuckles reference but the fact that they did the thing that I'm not going to say because it's back in the spoiler. Um, you know, it's definitely one of those things that it would be really cool if it happened. You know, I, I think it'd be a really cool opportunity. Um, so with that, you know, overall, you know, did because I know you had held an event um, for the, the Knuckle series. Uh what was the overall consensus from like the people that did attend? Do you know the way? They found the way. <laughs> <laughs> I swear by thought process. Was, it's like, yo, they said the line. So when they hear the way, it's like, oh, he said the line. He said the line. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, no, it's definitely one of those things that it, it's really crazy to think about that, you know, they, they said the thing. Um, but yeah, no, do you, do you think that, and obviously you're not with Paramount or anything, but again, and, <laughs> and he crashed ladies and gentlemen. So, ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. uh, cut the ad reel. Hello everyone. Just want to interrupt the video right here. Uh, if you'd like to support me on any of my, um, variety of content, uh, I do have a throne, as well as a Ko-Fi. So make sure you go check that out. I uh, want to thank you all so much for watching. Let's get back into the video. Oh hey, yeah, uh, overall, I think Fred wants his royalties. If um, he does, if uh, Paramount does reach out to you, like VR Chat for the Knuckles game, I guess to use his reference. Fair enough. Uh, so that, that brings up a question, you know, um because is uganda like because obviously it's based off knuckles the character right now with parody law and i'm not a lawyer i'm going to put a disclaimer right here i am not a fucking lawyer i just me neither brain rot type <laughs> of stuff um but with that you know would would he be able to since you know it's um technically knuckles is a character owned by sega you know would it be possible for him to get royalties on that probably not but i mean i did say that as a joke probably not gonna care really fair it would be cool though as long as the credit as long as the credits are you know given out correctly i think he's just fine with that <laughs> fair yeah i was gonna say because i mean even the uh the old gross grotesque sonic creation of the original sonic movie uh was in chippendale rescue rangers and they had to properly give credit to the, to the model maker of that if you remember that that uh that atrocity oh yeah i remember that um, it, made, it made people actually like the ugly sonic character more <laughs> <laughs> for real that 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 movie was mad it was really cool but it was crazy but yeah so let's get into the more modern side of the uganda knuckles um since we're already kind of in the topics of the new series um we've done you know some events uh like the six year anniversary event you know are there any plans to do one every year for the anniversary or or maybe plans to you know be branch out further even more um i might do the anniversary events like every year like get a dj one up fair don't ask about my bits <laughs> 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 fair <laughs> well you know 
I mean, your your community is definitely one of the older ones on this platform that are still around, you know. Um, and it's it's seen its days, you know. It's gotten bigger, it's gotten smaller, and then you know it's increasing again, you know. It's it's that just comes with the platform, you know. It's uh, you know things become better and decrease and then become better again from it. Um, so you know one of the things I'll ask, you know. Is there any, you know, any remote opportunities for you to want to advertise or branch out even further than you got in Knuckles is as a whole? Uh, not really branch out. Kind of, you know, just, you know, hang out with people. Kind of like, just like a, almost like a friends group almost, I guess you could say. But I mean... We still do like the event stuff, mm-hmm. but we kind of still keep a community going. Fair. I was gonna say, you know, you're talking. We're, we're talking about events, like, you know, when is the next? When is the next? Uh, you know, Ugandan raid gonna happen? You know, or is it just kind of whenever spur of the moment? Um, probably whenever spur of the moment. <laughs> like. I can never give like an exact date because it like when you when you plan raids like people tend not to show up to them but like I've seen like when you just plan it out of nowhere people tend to show up more mm-hmm. as it's happening Fair enough, fair enough. I would say yeah, so with how many, you know, raids have been through the years, do you think there'll ever be a point you know, to where the you got, <clears throat> excuse me, do you think there will ever be a point to where the Ugandan Knuckles, like, will essentially cease, like, to exist? Um, probably when VRChat changes its rules, or I basically get all my content wiped, then you'll probably know the answer to that. <laughs> but at this point in time, I assume everything is good. Fair enough, fair enough. So, yeah, let's talk more about the community and then, you know, because obviously you have the VR chat community as my hand decides to screw around. So you have the community um, in VR chat. You have the group. You know, you also do have the Discord. You know, is there are there any other, you know, servers or platforms that you guys do within your community? Um, you got a Minecraft server and a Power World server. That's it. and there's the website, but I mean, it doesn't really have much on it. Fair enough. You know, and it's it's definitely interesting. Minecraft and Power World, two very creative games. You know, now with the with the Minecraft, one of them runs at thirty two gigabytes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I was gonna say with with the Minecraft server in particular, you know, is that still the like original Uganda server, or is that like a brand new server? It's a brand new server. Fair enough. Fair enough. It's more of a community server, even though it is publicly out there. It's more of a community. Hmm. Fair enough. If the community wants to use it, same with Power World. It's there if people want to use it. <laughs> right. I was going to say, you know, um, in regards to the community, once again, you know, because you actually do, uh, you actually do have creator economy uh, for Uganda as well. Um, so let, let's talk about that a little bit. You know, what, uh, what, what have led you to wanting to apply for creator economy? Um, I won't lie though, I kind of applied as a joke because I thought I wouldn't get accepted anyways. <laughs> like, you know, I'll just give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny that I got accepted. <laughs> Fair. And, so, but, go ahead. But yeah, when I did join their Discord server, I mean, they at least, I think most people already knew who I was when I joined. Like, oh, so you got the Knuckles guy. <laughs> 
So yeah, with you know, with the creator economy, you know, with some of the things I find hilarious, and we'll we'll plaster it right here, um, are some of the some of the perks that you have going on. <laughs> um, so so let let let's let's talk about those for a second. You know, so you have, I believe, four different perks where it stands right now. Um, so from the lowest to the top what what are exactly these perks and what uh, what all do they offer um to be honest they all offer the same thing just more of like what are you willing to support kind of even though the first two seemed like you know serious ones and then the first two are kind of just you know <laughs> not so serious ones like steal mom's credit card or rob a bank those are actual names, by the way, of the time. We'll, we'll put a screenshot right here of them all. Um, <laughs> we're, we're not robbing any banks or stealing credit cards. I just want to okay. close that. Okay. My legal team has told me, please do not rob a bank and do not steal mom's credit card. There we go. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, yeah, same with my legal team as well. Um, but... but so yeah, so you have all four of those different perks. So what does that uh what does supporting Uganda on VR check uh, creator economy exactly entail? For those that don't know. Um so basically what it's being set up for is to where like I can maintain like the gaming servers for the community mostly. Because I'll go and tell you that shit's expensive every month. So yeah, mostly I'll keep that, and I guess to give a reward, you get like a diamond, you get a chaos emerald above your head. A lot of people call it diamonds, but if I, but if people get the reference to chaos emerald, they'll get it. Mm -hmm. And then there's like a nether portal that goes to like a secret room. Mostly, yeah. I guess what you call get away from the children <laughs> in a public instance type thing. Fair. You really need to get away from them. Fair enough. I was going to say also, you know, you, you also do have, uh, you know, you're mentioning the private room and stuff. Um, you know, you also do have a, um, you have a board outside of the little like hut area with, with uh, testimonials. Uh, so do you plan on updating that whenever someone supports you or, you know, is it just like a funny, ha ha, a couple people put testimonials up on the it board? It automatically... I might add more, just because it's funny. I do, I would recommend like the cursed ones though. Like what, one of them saying like, why did I buy this? <laughs> Fair enough. I don't know why I bought this. <laughs> Fair. So let's, uh, let's dive in, you know, now with all the creator economy stuff out of the way, you know, let's dive into more of the social aspect. So you obviously do have, um, you know, some social media stuff, um, like the Uganda Twitter, for example. I, I believe, if I remember correctly, <laughs> I believe, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, it's the Uganda World of VR Chat, or Uganda VR Chat World. Uganda World for VR Chat. Yeah, Uganda World for VR Chat. So let let's talk a little bit about the Twitter. All right. So obviously, you know, the Knuckles, you know, they love to meme. You know, that's just, it's who they are. Yeah. So what, uh, what inspired you to just essentially make a VR chat world account that's essentially for shit posting? Um, so back in, uh, VRCon 2022, someone actually didn't recommend that I open the Twitter account and I'm like, you know, what? done deal. And just to open the account. <laughs> Fair. So I was to say, you know, with with how many people know Uganda, you know, is it one of those what what exactly do you, what what exactly do you do on the Uganda Twitter? Like besides the obvious shit posting. <laughs> I think it's mostly shit posting, but sometimes I'll relay announcements from the Discord server. Fair. And then like with the uh with the uh, w.gg one, by the way, I gotta plug in my code. Please use a Uganda, Uganda VRC for twenty percent. 
<laughs> Joke's on you. It's not twenty percent off anymore. It was only for that weekend. You don't even know your own sponsor. Oh well. It's okay. It's gonna be censored anyway. It's whatever the fuck it is now. <laughs> it's whatever the fuck it is now. It's okay. It's all Alrighty, gonna be censored. Start... By the way, you wanna hit? You wanna see Novit censor everything I'm saying right now? Hold on. <laughs> God, God damn it. There we go. God damn it. This motherfucker make me do editing work. Uh, bro, I can't believe you said that on live on the podcast, bro. I'm going to have to censor that. <laughs> Son of a bitch. That's not going in the Ko-Fi. I hope you know I that. I said... I said... No, <laughs> now you can't say that, bro. <laughs> Shut up. I'm going to talk about my... There. Actually, <laughs> the funny thing is, it's literally right over there. <laughs> I'm getting canceled with this. I'm getting canceled with this episode. Um, <laughs> but anyways, um, god damn it! Uh, you fucking made me lose my train of thought. Um, <laughs> okay, now you got to plug in that technical difficulties right there. <laughs> That's yeah, a good thing yeah, to plug. That, yeah, I will do that. <laughs> So anyways, anyways, um, <laughs> with, with all the, you know, social media stuff, um, it's definitely interesting to see how the Uganda world VR chat for VR chat account, you know, act, act, you know, interacts with the VR chat community. Um, whether it's, you know, just, just for example, like you, you ratio some other people, um, you know, and a bunch <laughs> of <laughs> like it's it's pure it's pure chaos links are down in the description go make sure to follow the fucking twitter account um speaking of twitter though i should tell you about the first time we actually ratioed somebody go for it so um like the first post uh that we tried ratioing somebody was um beer chat was saying like what is your most favorite avatar somebody replied the toothbrush thing then I just replied with the knuckles on a noose. Like, the image with the knuckles on the noose. And then that one got, like, 14 likes. Ah, oh, Jesus. Um, <laughs> I don't know why that got... I don't know why that ratioed the original post. The original one never got any likes, which I feel bad. <laughs> Fair. Um... Well, I was going to say, like, you know, with, with all the, you know, stuff you guys do on the Twitter, like... It's kind of funny how, like, like I said, you ratio people and you do other things, you know, it's definitely, like, definitely an interesting case, you know. Um, was there any time that, like, Uganda VRC Twitter came under fire for any reason? Um, we basically got detected as a bot account and we couldn't, like, a message for, like, two weeks. Oh, jeez. So Two two weeks to a month. <laughs> yeah, somebody reported it as a bot account, and basically it didn't get suspended. We just couldn't post anymore oh, until geez. I like messaged someone at support and be like, "Yeah, this is not a bot account. Like, we're actually doing stupid shit." <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Well, I, I was gonna to a degree, of course, to a degree. Right. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> Uh, well, I was going to say, you know, this actually, um, cause quite frankly, there's not too much left to talk about. Really. We kind of covered all the bases when it came to the Uganda community. Um, you know, so in regards to you, uh, specifically, you know, you've been around the platform for so long, you know, what, what is one of the things as a creator, uh, you know, what would you, if you had to change one thing um, about the VR chat platform, what would it be and why? Um, not enough knuckles. It needs more knuckles. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what I was expecting on that one. I, <laughs> I don't know what they what I was expecting. <laughs> Fair. There's not enough clucking nowadays. We need more clucking and more knuckles. More and knuckles. <laughs> Not not more queens. Um, there's way too many of those. Not enough <laughs> knuckles. Not enough. <laughs> Fair. Um, well, I was gonna say, 
Um, it does look like we are coming to an end of the episode. Um, possibly. <laughs> um, so I do want to say I want to thank you so much, Lego, for coming on the podcast. Uh, it's much appreciated. Thanks for having me. <laughs> also, by the way, I don't think people know. I think there's some people that know, but those that don't know, um, he actually has a Knuckles avatar of what he's wearing right now. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is true. Um, I might post it for. We might take a thumbnail picture with it. So, if you guys are interested, just go look at the thumbnail. Um, but yeah. So with all that in mind, you know, I want to thank you for coming on the podcast. Uh, so at this time, uh, you know, what I like to do for all the people that come on, uh, where can people find you? You know, where where can people search up Uganda, all that stuff, you know? So where can people find you at? Um, you can go on ugandavrc.com. You want to find most of the social media in the Discord. And, uh, but I know most people, if you don't want to go to the website, um, they probably have the Discord link down below somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> it'll be in the description. It'll probably be on screen too. Um, but yeah, I mean, also go follow the Twitter, you know, all that other stuff. Uh, I think that's all the social media platforms you have, I think. Yeah, no. Well, there is also my personal one, my personal Twitter account at Legoman99573. <laughs> so am I, I going to put it above your head? Is that you're going to give me more editing work? Got it. Cool. All right. <laughs> no, you don't have to edit it. Just put it in the description, bro. <laughs> no, nah, I'm gonna do it anyway. You, you point it upwards, Save so I'm gonna put it. Time. Nah, I'll put it up there and down there. So, ladies and gentlemen, make sure to go check out all the Uganda and Lego Man links down in the description. Uh, go show support to him. Uh, it would mean a lot. Um, also, you know, have fun with the Uganda. You know, there's so many different Uganda Knuckles avatars out there. You know. Celebrate Uganda and go raid a freaking black cat or a just be club. Just go have fun. You know, we, we, we love to have fun around, you know, in the Uganda community. I wouldn't recommend the black cat. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend raiding there. Fair. <laughs> no, that's going to turn south. Literally. There's actually fair. a lot of crashing that happens in there. So I wouldn't recommend over there. <laughs> fair. Um, but with all that in mind, Lego, thanks again for coming on the podcast um much appreciated uh i want to thank you all so much for watching episode 11 of the novid notes podcast this has been lego man from the uganda community and uh you know i hope we hope you enjoyed um you know if you're you know like the video um you know make sure to click that like button click that subscribe button you know if you're already coming back watching the other podcast episodes why not you're already coming back anyway but on that note we will see you 11 episodes. I did Can it again. Bring up one more thing. Go for it. <laughs> Can I bring up one more thing? Also, ring the bell and select all notifications so you actually get the notification. Yeah, what, what he said. Yeah, hit that subscribe button, smack that bell icon. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Take care and peace.